Road to Shodan! Episode 2! Hello, this is Road to Shodan, Episode 2. I'm Wojtek. I'm Karolina. And welcome everyone! We would like to thank you very much for the great uh, response to our first video. We got a lot of comments, a lot of video, a lot of views, and um, you were all very kind, and we are very encouraged to make more of those silly videos. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we got so many uh, nice, encouraging comments. Uh, we we read we read all of them hundred times. <laughs> and <laughs> it was a really humbling experience, so we hope that you will like the next episodes as well. And yeah, we also got many Kifu, thank you for sending, and yeah. But before we start today's commentary, yeah. we have a great news in our shirky world. What is that news? Oh, <laughs> I'm, I'm sure many of you already know, but uh, we have uh, an amateur called Orita, who took yeah. a special examination to become a professional. And he managed to win against professionals uh, in the examination. Okay, what was the examination? So he had to win three games uh, out of five in order to become pro. And he did it! And it's wow. amazing! And you may know him from his YouTube channel. What wow. was his YouTube channel? I think his uh, channel is Age Age Shogi. Yeah, yeah. So you can check his channel, it's all in Japanese, but. Uh, he usually plays Shaggy Wars, right? Yeah, so actually, uh, he has one video in English. Two. Oh, even two? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, maybe we can link to them. Oh, yeah, sure. Uh, okay. He made them mostly as a joke. <laughs> really? <laughs> but, well, you, you should definitely check that out. But um, besides, outside of YouTube, he's a really, really strong player. And um, it's fantastic that he has become uh, a professional. Uh, do we know when uh, he will officially start he does his yeah, start? He will start in April 1st and he will play in all the official matches as a professional, as four done. Okay, yeah. so it's Let's less than a month. Him, yeah. Yeah? From YouTuber to <laughs> Shogi <laughs> Pro. Pro. Yeah. It's really amazing. Okay, and we have yeah. another news. Another one. If you guys know about Nishiyama Tomoka, she, is, uh, she has three titles. Yeah. In ladies professional world, uh, although she's not a lady professional, she's a shorekai a member, and she's trying to become fordan also, but a little bit different path than Orita. Ah yeah yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, she's yeah. using the usual path, right? Yeah, the shorekai uh, system, and she's the in fordan league, and as you can see on this uh, table, she's actually ranked third. So wow. the, re the rule of the Shoreka is that you need to be top two in order to become Fordan. She's number three, which means uh, if she becomes number three, she gets the special point, right? Yes. Uh, she will, if she gets two of those special points, she will become Fordan as well. So yeah. she's or already... She, uh, if she wants, right? If she wants, yeah. Uh, but she has also big chances to be Fordan by the normal way, by winning the league. So how many games are there remaining yeah, for her? Yeah, so remaining games are two games and they all both both of them will be played on March 7th. Okay. Uh, and it also depends on the results of uh, the people in the first and second place, but she has some chances to become pro and we are rooting for her. She would be the first female player to become Fordan. Wow, that would be a historical event. Yeah, it's unmeasurable, amazing achievement. Yeah, so let's all root for Nishiyama yeah, to make the... history on March 7th. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> so that was a little bit of big shoggy news and yeah. now let's jump right into the game. Yeah. So today we have uh, Hatoyuki UK who is 7Q on okay. Eiji Mandojo and he's playing against a 5Q opponent and it was a tournament game. Okay. So as we know, tournament games has more pressure. Yeah. And I really recommend so that you play tournament games because it's a chance to test yourself against other opponents mm -hmm. and it's fun. Yeah, there's yeah. more pressure, right? Yeah, more pressure and you're more serious about the game. Yeah. Yeah. 
So really, really recommend it for people who want to get stronger. And, by the way, nice thing is you're going to make friends, shoggy friends. So. Yeah. It's much easier to discuss the game with your opponents during a tournament when... You're actually sitting yeah, in front of you. Yeah. yeah. Through the internet, it's not so easy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can see the opponent, you can play shogi, then you can go for a beer together. It's, it's a great way to socialize. Yeah. The time um, was 15 minutes and then 60 seconds oh, yeah, of yeah. Bioyomi. So yeah. it's quite a long game. No, uh, well, I would say medium. Yeah, but for, uh, it was played through the internet, right? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, for the internet, it's quite long. So our viewer is Sente. Oh, and it's uh, quite interesting opening already. Yeah. Both players started with <laughs> double closing the... Bishop's diagonal. Yeah, exactly, here and here. So this would indicate that it's probably a closed variation, Pro usually three bishop, mm -hmm. although not always. And then the opponent pushes it as well, so we could think it's double three bishop mm -hmm. playing, double swinging rook. Yeah. But as we see, oh, he so. moved the silver up, which still could be anything. Yeah, but most point. likely static rook, right? Yeah. We are castling. Okay. And that's one interesting thing is that Gote didn't push this pawn at all. Yeah. Yeah, usually you would push it here and then this bishop would go here, right? And this way Ibisha has some form of attack available at any point in time. Yeah, so it seems that Gote is thinking only about castling, about yeah. making the king safe. Yeah. And this is the Mino castle for center. Yeah, and... This bishop move suggests that we want to go even deeper with the king. Yeah, so either it will be the left side Mino, uh -huh. or, well, Amaguma. <laughs> wow. So. Mm, or, well, in some possibilities there will be like silver crown. Uh -huh. uh, but, matter of fact, it will be a slow game. Yeah, so yeah. it seems Gota is playing really defensively. Yeah, so because Sente is Mino, I wonder if he can speed up somehow because he has the defense ready and he doesn't want mm -hmm. to allow the opponent to cast so strongly i wonder if like going for this exchange early on would be good mm -hmm. yeah this seems really active yeah usually you know uh, if you push here and if the pawn would be here you can protect it mm -hmm. but now it's impossible so maybe you can get some advantage by exchanging this pawn mm -hmm. so maybe it's like one possibility for Sent. Especially that he's not worried about Gote's attack. Mm -hmm. The Gote has no counter attack. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> so yeah, okay. after you finish the castle, you should start thinking about how to start the battle. Especially before your opponent gets to this strong castle like Anaguma. Yeah. Yeah. So Sente is more or less prepared, mm. so he could think about attack. Yeah. So he moves silver up, which mm -hmm. blocks the rook. Okay, but it's still, it's a natural developing move of the silver. Yeah, it's naturally a move for silver to go up, but again, if you want to speed up the game, um, usually, you know, one way would be to attack this bishop's head, but now, so that, now that pawn is on 4 four, so it's impossible. Yeah, so it mm. seems there is no obvious or natural uh, quick attack for center. Yeah, so usually in Shogi, we have those two games, which is fast-paced and slow paced game and in this case Gote is going for the slow paced game mm -hmm. which Sente can answer two ways you can go for strong castle yourself so then mm -hmm. you have two solid castle playing against each other like yeah. double anaguma or silver crown versus anaguma or you have strategies like fuji system uh -huh. like quick attacks like tomahawk mm -hmm. yeah uh, going for like quick attack before the castle is finished and because Sente is the one playing uh, no Anaguma game, you have to mm -hmm. think of it to not allow any Senichite the draw. No, oh, by repetition. Yeah, so this is Gotes' plan to play slow game, play... In this case, having no attack is okay, he just wants Senichite and he wants the solid castle so that Sente will have to worry. Hmm. So that's an amazing strategy plan from uh, <laughs> uh, 5Q. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, do you think it does it make sense to really go for a draw by repetition uh, when playing online? Me, sure, <laughs> if you wanna like win, if you're serious about the game, it's one way to like 
play, but then you have, have to have a strong strategy to play at center, right? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, it's, it is, like professionals, if they play Gote, they it's part of their strategy, right? To go for Sinch than to play at center later, because center has higher probability to win, right? Yeah, but I think when we play online, um, we don't really repeat the game after a draw. At least uh, on I'm I'm not sure about eighty one dojo, oh, but uh, at Shogi Wars you simply uh, I think the commentary is that oh it was a boring game <laughs> <laughs> and see. the game is finished. Well, but you shouldn't worry about it too much. Yeah. I mean, it's just part of the game. Okay. And also, this is a tournament game, so yeah. it's different. They would have to play another game, right? Oh well, yeah, that's an interesting point because. Uh, tournament uh, draws in shogi mm. are so so um, rare. infrequent, infrequent yeah, yeah. R rare that often you you won't find anything in the tournament regulations mm. because it's so easy <laughs> to forget <laughs> yeah. about it mm, yeah. yeah but usually usually yeah depends yeah there's a lot of behind right yeah. but Let's say you have choice between Sainte and playing a bad move. You should go for Sainte. Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah. Uh, that's that's obvious rule yeah, here. That yeah. is true. Okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Let's go on. It was a quite a long digression, but uh, <laughs> yeah. yeah. So here, finally, Sainte tries to attack somehow. Yeah, but uh, now, since the, as you said, the silver yeah, is blocking the, the rook. Here, so. Yeah. So. Well, still, yeah. the natural development is to go to six six silver. This is a very aggressive play for mm -hmm. Shik and Misha. It's yeah. uh, natural in normal opening, um, but yeah, now Gotek can activate the silver. Yeah, so what is uh, got Santa's plan? Because right now it seems mm. that the silver is blocking both the rook and the bishop. So what's the idea? Yeah, so again, if you're playing against Anaguma, uh, yeah. all of the pieces of Anaguma's side are in defense. So mm -hmm. it means you don't have to worry about the attack. So one way to think of it is to, you can develop your pieces yeah. and kind of make your opponent worry about the next move. Mm. So you can build strong position like Haimino, Silver Crown, strengthen okay. your castle and your opponent will have to either attack impossible se by impossible sequence mm -hmm. or wait infinitely. Oh, I see. So, so you can prepare the position you want, basically. So this silver is not aiming for any particular attack well it could still you know you can develop it here but ah, then the question okay. is when should you attack because if the mm -hmm. anaguma is finished you lose by king safety by the castle solidness mm -hmm. so i think my teacher also told me like you cannot attack well against anaguma because if you go the natural route of exchanging pieces it mm -hmm. means that anaguma won't have to worry about the attack anymore and uh -huh. it will simply win because of the king safety. Oh, I see. If you talk about something more complicated, because the king is one square further, mm -hmm. it means you will take more moves to get to him. Yeah. So even if you are equal in the middle game, in the mm -hmm. end game it will be your uh, Anaguma's favor, right? Yeah. So you cannot fight equally in the middle game. You I have see. to get some strong points as center in this case. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So let's see. So yeah, Sente. Naguma is very difficult. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. So Senta is preparing, or yeah, maybe well, uh, not anymore. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, yeah. So here Senta is showing some attacking uh, intentions. Mm -hmm. mm, well, simply speaking, by going for this silver exchange and rook. Yeah. Which generally is a good idea. Uh huh. But the next move, uh, yeah, let's see what got it. Is. So he protected, right? Okay. So there is no quick attack for Sente anymore, and Anaguma mm -hmm. has enough time to finish the castle. So this is a little bit nightmare uh, variation for Sente. Oh, well, it seems like a good, uh, not bad timing to attack for mm -hmm. Sente because, well, the king did go to 1 1. But uh, the door is not yet closed with, I mean, yeah, this, the, yeah. the silver is not there. They call it the hatch in Japanese. Yeah, yeah. so I was thinking yeah. about what's the <laughs> <laughs> hatch. English yeah. equivalent. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, but it's very weird because mm -hmm. Gote went for this Anaguma without caring about any form of attack, right? Mm -hmm. So it's really hard to say 
it's very unusual way to play shogi yeah. game i think yeah the, the rook is only is also only a defensive piece right? yeah so it's also very hard to explain but mm -hmm. center played this many moves in order to attack right yeah which those moves when were invested uh, by gote to make anaguma right mm -hmm. so if you give this peace exchange as we talked before uh -huh. gote will be better because he invested those moves on the king side and yeah. he wasted those moves on attack side so it's anaguma fighting against anaguma is also about the balance right so, so you don't want to punch mm -hmm. too hard against anaguma because it will reflect at you basically so what sh could have sent it down yeah so he could have you know develop the castle slowly as mm -hmm. we talked before take those points like the edge pawn is uh -huh. a point then in the future you can have edge attack against anaguma if you have a pawn in hand yeah so like here here pawn drop under it and then the knight somehow comes here it's like one pattern mm -hmm. anaguma's weakness is the edge so this is yeah. one way to think of it but again you are forcing your opponent to feel the pressure of not having to play a move, right? Mm -hmm. So that's one way. Or attack before the king goes to 1-1, one, one, right? Now it's a little bit too late. Oh, I see. Yeah. So Sente could be a little bit disadvantageous. Or even if it's equal, it's harder to win as mm. non Anaguma side because computer would probably fight equal game. Uh -huh. But for human, it's very easy to make a mistake, so... Yeah. This is why Anaguma is so popular to begin with. Eh? Yeah. Yeah. I think everyone has has had their experience that you uh, of fighting, playing against Anaguma, mm. having maybe <coughs> a material advantage, mm. and then feeling that <laughs> yes, <laughs> the game it is won. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, and your opponent just attacks with everything he has, sacrifices the rook, sacrifices the bishop, yeah. and uh, because your king can um, can be put in check mm. you make one little mistake and the game is over yeah and this kind of what it seems impossible attack by throwing mm -hmm. away all the big pieces is called anaguma rush actually yeah and it's, if you ever play starcraft it's like zerg, <laughs> zerg <laughs> rush but yeah so basically you just attack 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 mm. because you don't care about the defense you already invested the moves there you don't have to escape because your king is as far as it could yeah i think i, I heard the phrase uh, Anaguma no Boryoku. Okay. Yeah, the aggression of Anaguma. Yeah. So. <laughs> so we say yeah. Anaguma is burning hole. So basically, yeah. the, the, imagine the bear just like throwing the pawns and you, there's no stopping that. Yeah, and uh, just to. Um, on the other hand, one idea that. Um, the, so the, the winning pattern mm. for Anaguma is when the king is safe yeah. and they go for a crazy attack yeah. and somehow they get to the king. Yeah. But what is the um, losing pattern of Anaguma? Oh, that's a difficult question though. Because um, I, I believe that one of the, the, the worst things that you can do yeah. is to make new Gyoku, to, to enter oh, with your king. Well, it's very hard though. In uh, Furibisha game because as your king escapes here, yeah, you cannot enter the king because there are pawns in here. Yeah. So it's really hard, but yeah, in some cases somehow the king can run away to this, but it's really hard and it's easy to make mistake. The other winning pattern is against Anagumas, as I said, have an uh, advantage in the middle game, mm -hmm. which means you have a stable, slow, strong attack. Like especially having bishop on this line mm -hmm. or having the rook on this line mm -hmm. is very good. But also it's very important to not give Anaguma gold general to defend, mm -hmm. right? So you have to, even if you have to sacrifice the bishop for the gold general, we say it's worth it against mm -hmm. Anaguma because gold is the most valuable piece in Anaguma game. So uh, yeah. After, yeah, instead of bishop. Yeah. So what will happen if we give some generals to the Anaguma side? What will yeah, they, they do? Will they, it is a possibility they will keep dropping it in defense. Yeah. But in that case, they won't have any attack and New Gyoku becomes easier. So it's oh. very tricky. It's all about the balance, right? Yeah. Uh, but let's see how this game went. Yeah. Let's see which side won. Did Sente do a great attack or did Anaguma succeed? So here Sente played 7-7 seven, seven bishop. What is the meaning of this move? Well, we're gonna see in a moment. But in general, I mean, like for, the, for our beginner view, viewers. Um, what is the difference? Why would we put the bishop here? 
one reason is that if the bishop exchange will be uh, uh, done, then the yep. knight can develop. But in this game, I think he moved the bishop to this square, which also oh, okay. so, so it's a way of activating the bishop basically. So Especially mm -hmm. that this pawn is here and yeah. not here. That's a big difference. Yeah, so normally this move isn't possible because yeah. we have the pawn yeah. uh, pushed twice. And the reason why he moved the lance is that in this case he doesn't have to worry about the lance. Nice. Yeah. So Although it's still, as we noticed, Anaguma is finished, so it becomes yeah. much, much harder. Right. Okay, let's see how the middle game happened. Oh, so okay. the gold has moved and yeah. the, the, the shape is somewhat awkward because the silver and the bishop... Yeah, basically, um, basically, this gold move made this weakness over here. Mm -hmm. The silver drop is possible, so Sente decided this is the proper way to moment to attack. And yeah. if the gold went here, Anagoma is completely finished the game over, so, so this is why he chose to attack. This is the, the time. Yeah. So notice that he didn't play this gold move in oh, order yeah. to speed up. Yeah. Yeah, it would be a exchange favor favorable yeah. for gold. So he took it, takes it huge number of exchanges is happening mm -hmm. and here Anaguma made first mistake oh really yeah and i'm sure you guys can already see the next move there is a cool move here okay. I, the, I there is the hint i told you already that the bishop is less viable uh, against the gold in Anaguma game yeah so which move is it Voiter? Uh, i i guess there's a hanging piece yeah, there is a well, piece that is not yeah. protected. But also you want to take the gold, right? Yeah. So, yeah, as you so said, we, we have this double attack. This piece is hanging, as you said, and we take the gold. Which, please look how it, how much it weakens Anaguma mm. right now. So what should Gote do right now? Yeah, so he has to, I guess he's forced to take the rook. Yeah. And but... Um, and now... There is some cool trick. If you retake yeah. it, uh, you get equal exchange, right? Mm -hmm. But there is this technique here that you play in between move, yeah. which is a check. Yeah. So you take one more piece. piece. Wow. He needs to retake it. In yeah. this case, look, the king was driven mm. away from Anagoma, so his castle became much weaker. Yeah, two generals <laughs> yeah. have disappeared from the yes, castle. Yes, as well. Yeah, and the king comes closer, so. Now the line that the kings are at is mm -hmm. equal. Yeah. So the defense power fell sharply down. Okay. He didn't want to probably make a weakness over here. This mm -hmm. is why he did it with the king. But yeah, this move was too good for Sente. And then you retake the rook. So what is the material? Yeah, so does? Sente got a, a one, one general for free, but also he gave up the bishop, right? Mm -hmm. So Gote has minus two generals plus yeah. one bishop and therefore center has two generals so it's two piece exchange for one bishop which is okay. good for center if you get two pieces for one big piece you're better but um is any piece okay like would we be happy with two lances mm, for a rook usually we say for the bishop you would like General and light piece, so knight or lance. Uh -huh. But of course, having two generals is even better. Yeah. But the general idea is you get two pieces for one, which gives you the advantage already. Like you have more pieces than your opponent. Yeah, so if you, for example, drop the lance, he defends with bishop, you can drop the second lance to attack. So you have this number advantage. Mm -hmm. But the, uh, the quality advantage is only when you have one general, one light piece for bishop or okay. two generals for one rook. Okay. Yeah, but it, it depends also on the whole position. Like yeah. The, yeah. The question is, uh, sometimes if your opponent has a solid position, it's yeah. really difficult to penetrate it only using only generals. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So, well, it's a, only a general rule. You, you should not always follow it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But here, um, Sente has taken two really precious gen generals, yeah. the, the ones from uh, the castle. The castle, yeah. So you see now, Gote has only one general in defense, plus the yeah. bishop. But Sente has three. Yeah. Two more. And he has one more attacking piece. Yeah, and his big. king is pretty solid. Like. Yeah. He has no, I mean, the solidness is same, right? We said it's yeah. on the same file. But this versus this, that's the difference. Yeah. 
of, of course, we cannot forget about this visual, but mm -hmm. considering that it affects small number of squares, as compared to this gold, for example, it affects many. Yeah. It's not a very good defense piece. Yeah. Yeah. And this is why giving away the bishop for the gold was a great idea. Okay, so yeah. maybe we can go a little bit back, back? Yeah. and find Gotha's mistake. Oh, yeah, yeah. So, uh, this part. Yeah. Here you should have played something differently. Yeah, so we don't want to allow... What about taking the bishop? Is that too much? Well, but in this case, center is good because you sabaki, you activate your rook. Uh -huh. Next, there's no defense. And you have a rook in hand, which means you can launch this attack on the first line, which should be very good against Anaguma. Yeah, and Gotha's bishop is passive because the, the diagonal is blocked. Yeah, and also this lands escape, so yeah, and it's, it's really hard for Gotha to take more pieces. Yeah, it seems that uh, there is no great drop of mm -hmm. the bishop we just took. Yeah. So this doesn't seem to work. We what? checked it with the computer, but what was the computer's <laughs> answer? I forgot. Um... Ah, was it the pawn push here? Yeah. The pawn drop here? Yeah. Something like this. Yeah, I think... Okay, we double checked. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and the computer says that one move would be to push this pawn, activate the bishop. If you would yeah. take this, you would take the rook. And computer said that Anagoma would be a little bit better, but as you see, because now there's two generals in the castle, I don't think it's so easy anymore. So, yeah. because it's such a um, tight game, it would be a good option for Gote. And another move would be the silver drop. Oh, really solid. Yeah. So, yeah, if you would take yeah. it again, you would take here. So, again, Anagoma this time is quite stable. Mm -hmm. So, it would be equal fight still. But yeah, moving the gold was, as we said, the least good option. Yeah, I guess the biggest difference uh, in the main game, yeah. in, in the game and the variations that we checked right now, mm -hmm. is that after the bishop takes the first general, he can take the second one with check. Yes, yes. I think this is the, the biggest this, difference. Yes, yes. So yeah, advantage for Sent in this position. Yeah. So this was Anagumas mistake to like allow this bishop to get this close to the king, basically. Yeah. Yeah. So as an Anagma player, you should avoid this kind of variations. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay, uh, let's go, let's go. And here we have this position. As we said, Anaguma is not so good anymore because Anaguma doesn't exist anymore. <laughs> yeah. And, uh, but the, uh, the Gota has the move. The move. Yeah. Yeah. So he drops the rook. And here, uh, Sente escapes. And here I would like to propose another move uh -huh. uh, to drop the rook here. Oh. And what it does, it has two meanings. You defend yeah. while attacking. So nice. this way you take the initiative back. Mm -hmm. And here you give away the initiative for one more move. And oh. you still have to drop the rook. Yeah. And he, your opponent got the knight. And got the knight and he has another move to make, right? So wow. Big this difference. is kind of way to yes, yeah, speed up. Because next you threaten this and it's okay. So if he takes, you're one move faster. Let's compare mm. it. Yeah. I see. Sometimes in positions like that. Mm. Um, if you could go back... Ah, let uh, me add one more thing. If yeah. you're afraid of this line, yeah. you can... Ah, I mean, it's checkmate, but... <laughs> uh, in, in some cases, if it wouldn't be a checkmate, you can yeah. drop the pawn. And yeah. It's even more stable this way, right? Yeah. So I just wanted to show this bottom pawn strategy here. Uh, so the rook is on very good position right now, yeah. and Anaguma is in big trouble. So, uh, what the opponent did was to drop the knight. Okay, Which so it threatens is very the gold. Dangerous. Yeah. We could say it's the Anagumas rush, kinda. Yeah. But here, yeah, this position, pinning this gold, mm -hmm. attacking with silver is perfect for now for Sente. A silver drop. Well, it uh, protects against the obvious threat. Yeah, yeah. Mm, and the reason why he didn't drop it here is to protect against this silver drop, I would oh, imagine. Oh, I see. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, silver drop here, and here is the chance for Sente to win the game. Really? Yeah, and here, he Hatoyuki, he said in comment that he made a mistake. Yeah. Which was silver drop to 5-1, which 
as you can see, can be oh, taken. Yeah, for. that's unfortunate. Yeah, it's still not bad, but here let's take a look on this position then. Uh, yeah, I think this is the tournament game, so we think that he was in Biomi at that yeah. point, and maybe he panicked a little bit, but it's okay. Yeah. Uh, so here, one way is to, again, take away the gold. Yeah, that's the basic principle, right? Yeah. To so, attack the gold near yeah. to the king. Yeah, so we say that the gold is better than the silver because it protects more squares. So if the gold won't be here, it will be easier for you to continue attacking. Okay. And for example, if you drop the silver again, and the silver drop again, now this piece is much weaker than the gold before. Okay, so it looks like a really similar shape, but there is a difference. Yes, yeah, so this is like this kind of tr trick you can do in endgame. Mm -hmm. And actually, I think Sente would be fine by slowing down a little. Oh. So yeah. now the knight cannot take. Yeah, so... The reason um, is that Anaguma now have to worry about how to continue attacking. Mm -hmm. If Anaguma plays something slow, let's just pass one move, yeah. Sente will be able to play all the slow moves he wants, right? Mm -hmm. So, uh, sometimes by passing, like passing move or like playing this slow move, you can uh -huh. make your opponent panic a little bit. Ah, I see. Yeah. So like. His plan was to take with the knight, yeah. but now it's now no longer possible. To, yeah, and it's much slower. It slows him down, right? Mm -hmm. Quite a bit. So yeah, if you had a pawn, this would be great continuation, but it's Nifu now. Mm -hmm. So yeah, Gote is in a bit of trouble. And if he had a god, like to drop, that's cool, but he doesn't. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm, and yeah, so here we go to this kind of... Um, so, there are two ways to think about the position in any game. One is to call something we call Japanese uh, ski, which is... Okay, initiative. Yeah, initiative to mate, kind of. Mm -hmm. Like, one move to mate would be a checkmate threat. Yeah. Two moves would be one move to checkmate threat, three moves would be two. So now you, in the endgame, you would like to count how many moves it takes to make a checkmate threat. Okay. So it will be a little bit difficult, but... <laughs> mm -hmm. So for Gote, you need to take this knight, this gold. Yeah. Take this gold. Yeah. And then you have checkmate threat. Yeah, by dropping the bishop. By dropping the bishop and you have gold in hand. So drop gold, gold, checkmate. Okay, so it's two moves to... Uh, no, three. Three because moves to checkmate. One, two, three. Or t two moves to threat mate. Yeah, two moves. Yeah, but you have you can play three moves as sente, right? Mm -hmm. You play something, he plays something, you play something, he plays something, and if you manage to make a tsume now, yeah, you win the game. Okay. So yeah. you have three moves of breath. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so you would like to find what we call in Japanese yose, which is a uh, like an ending attack. Yeah, ending attack that will reach the king in some way, yeah. leaving him with a defense. So one way of doing it, I thought, was to add the gold here. Okay, so we have... Yeah. So for example, yeah. Gote goes for the attack, which we call direct end game line. Yeah. So the most sharp line we are like reading... A mutual right attack. In. Yeah. We're reading this mutual line first, because it's the most aggressive. Mm -hmm. We take, he takes... And maybe you can drop this silver. Mm -hmm. Try to checkmate him. So this way you have a checkmate. Yeah. If he would run, by the way, I think it also works. Mm, although now this is not a checkmate. So now the question would be... <laughs> oh, <laughs> Alright, no. I see. So now the question would be if he has a checkmate, and now it's a little bit scary because we gave so many pieces. Yeah, it could be a checkmate, right? Now. Okay, let's check it, shall we? Okay. And if you go like this, maybe gold. Yeah. Yeah, so probably gold drop here. Is it checkmate? It seems like... This is a very crazy variation, I'm sorry. 
Yeah, but, <laughs> yeah, but this is like this basic, basic line thing. Yeah. Yeah. Check it. Yeah, check <laughs> it's very long, but yeah. So this is what you want to avoid also, right? Because it gives you the risk. So you need to be sure. You need to be sure that it's checked. Yeah, and this line was very risky because yeah. uh, we gave a lot of pieces to the mm. opponent. So how many golds did he need in that line? He had three golds and two silvers, I think. So if he doesn't have this many, yeah. he had two golds, two silvers, one bishop. If he doesn't have one general, yeah. we're winning. Okay. So it's also one way of thinking of it. So let's find a way to not give him one more general. Maybe mm -hmm. we can promote the rook here. Okay. And so this way we don't give me the two generals. Yeah. So that's very important difference right now. We didn't have a checkmate, which means we should go for checkmate threat. Yeah. And he still needs, as we said, two more moves to checkmate, mm -hmm. right? Just, just go here, because now this is not checkmate threat. Yeah. Um, and in this case, we are faster than our opponent, which means we forced him to defend. Yeah. But as you see, there is no defense. Um, well, let's let's show. Okay, what would you play? With? Um, <laughs> I would... I would just... Well, the only option is to put some general on 2-2. Okay. Two, two. Mm, probably gold. Yeah. Mm, how should we go about it? We can just take it. Because yeah. it attacks our dragon, take it. Yeah. Now the question is, is this checkmate threat? Mm -hmm. It could be. Yeah. It if the gold be. was one square <laughs> closer, then it would be obvious. Oh, yeah, yeah, but, obviously, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Uh... but here we have to be careful. So there is a nice escaping route. I think there is a checkmate. It's a very tricky one again, but. Uh, wait, I missed it. One, two, three, four, five. Six. Yeah. Take the bishop. No, it's not checkmate. Silver 3 1. Yeah, okay, let's show it. I don't think it's. Silver 3 1. Gold. Gold. Oh, it is. Oh, gold here. Okay. I was yeah. thinking the bishop the bishop here allows him to escape. Yeah. And I was reading some crazy lines how to checkmate <laughs> that king, but actually <laughs> this, this yeah. is checkmate. Sometimes yeah, simple yeah. is. Sometimes better. simple is good, yeah. So this would be checkmate. Yeah, so yeah, again, but it's still um, there's no defense, center wins by one or two moves. Yeah, yeah, but maybe uh, that's quite a long line and yeah. quite um, dangerous. Maybe, yeah, if you are not sure, you yeah. cannot read, <laughs> don't play shogi. No, <laughs> I mean, this if you cannot read the line and you have like you have to attack because you're losing mm -hmm. then you should go for it because yeah. you're losing anyway yeah. but in this case if you move the gold back you're not losing immediately mm -hmm. so it should be okay yeah so and then, then you can even slow down the attack take this pawn drop the gold maybe make mm -hmm. some pressure or as we said drop the gold here or even go for the talking if in some cases you can yeah. take the you have many options right what i'm yeah. saying so you give yourself more time. You mm -hmm. give your king more time to live. You can even slow down your opponent even more by dropping pawn. Yeah. So you make your opponent worry and it's okay. Somebody told me when I was in Kenshikai that you yeah. should be cruel to your opponent. Oh, yeah. You should like make him cry. <laughs> so make yeah. your opponent cry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Such a horrible advice. I'm sorry. Yeah. So yeah. here the opponent would cry because he has no good idea. Yeah. yeah. Well, he has the bishop, so he, he can, I guess, um, dropping the bishop to 7-7 seven, seven is one idea to yeah, try to take. You have but... the pawn, you can slow him down one more yeah. move, and then you can attack again. Right? Yeah, now yeah. Yeah, now you can go slowly. And, and... As, you, as we saw the line before, the knight was here, Yeah. now it's so much further away. It's one, two, three, four moves, yeah. so we gained this one move. Eh? The defense was successful, we gained yeah. one move. That's important. In and Gota has no more pieces in hand. So. Yeah. Okay, so let's see what happened actually. Yeah, let's see the game. <laughs> <laughs> so, silver drop. So, we have this accident. Yeah. And take this, take this. Yeah. Drop here. It's a fret mate. Yeah, but you can drop. take it. 
Yeah. And now again, we gave away back the gold for the bishop. Mm -hmm. So it cannot be good, right? Mm. So maybe here you could still try to attack somehow. Mm. Like still. Maybe in this case, for example, we yeah. talked about Senjite. If you're losing, ah. you shoot the four, Senjite. So if you manage to make this kind of position, you know, this would be perfect for Sente. Yeah. By the way, it, this uh, repetition includes check. Yeah. It's legal because it's not always check. Yeah. This move is not check, so it's okay. So in this case, Sente can save himself oh. by going for Senjite. Because he made a... He made a mistake, he admits yeah. it. And he will go for singed. So that's yeah. That's actually very often a pattern in Anaguma. Mm, you drop the drops. See. Yeah. So that would be one way. Of course, maybe Gota had different defenses, but yeah, it's not very complicated. So the game went like this. And now I think Gota took two pieces for that one bishop mm -hmm. because of the free silver. Oh yeah, yeah. And now this gold is a good defense. If the gold would be dropped here, you yeah. have this tricky move like here. Oh, so yeah. you can take the gold. And even if you protect this square. And you take system. another one. Yes, again. That would gold be a disaster. Has no gold, yeah. Well, this kind of move will happen, and this would be equal fight again. It would be hard to tell which is mm. winning, yeah. Scotte will have some defending moves now. Yeah, because he has but generals. But Sente has the initiative. Although this could be Tsume, so... <laughs> still, Sente might be a little bit worse off. Mm -hmm. But that would be... A... Yeah, but this gold is perfect. Mm -hmm. Now... If, again, if Sente would retreat, this becomes faster. Mm -hmm. Because the defense of Gote was successful, he got one move. Okay. So he sped up one move. So this way, now Gote has two defending pieces and two defending pieces of Sente under attack. Mm -hmm. Sente is losing. Yeah, we yeah. can see that you can <laughs> go back a few moves and we yeah. can see the difference. You can compare, yeah. Yeah. This position. Yeah. yeah. Three versus one and then it was two versus two. Yes. Yeah. So a big change. So this is why Sente decided to go for it as we talked before. Mm -hmm. If you have no defense, just go for it. Maybe your opponent will make a mistake. Yeah. This is checkmate trade he has to take. And the question is can Sente continue attacking? So this gold is kind of Tesuji, it's a good move, but it's not a checkmate threat. Yeah. Gote will go attack. The silver is protecting, the silver and the king, the knight, yeah. there is no follow-up. Yeah. Well, yeah, it's hard to say. So now I see that Sente gave up, he mm -hmm. took the promoted knight and this is checkmate. Yeah, it's a... If you take, gold drop is... Like the normal checkmate line. Yeah, this is a pattern that uh, yeah, you, should remember. You, you, you have to know. So yeah, also it teaches us that if your gold goes away from this line, this drop will be always painful for Mino Castle. Yeah. So this is why Gote made a great job by targeting this gold. Mm -hmm. And this is the weakness of Mino, exactly. And because yeah. it's so easy to target this gold, this is why it's so much weaker than Anaguma. Mm. You just attack one gold and it's over, kind of. Yeah. But Anaguma, even if we took those golds, it still was quite a fight, right? Yeah. Because the castle was more solid. Yeah, especially here. So yeah, he could still try to go for the attack, but there is no way to make a threat mate, right? So even if you go slowly here, if you go here, go to yeah. survive. You can try to take this knight, but this knight doesn't change anything. Mm -hmm. you, you you can even slowly retake it. Yeah, and there is no, nothing yeah. to, to draw. It's also probably Tsume, but if you <laughs> yeah. don't need to go. Always go for Hishi yeah. instead of long Tsume if you can. Yeah, here there is no no yeah. reason to, to go for yeah, exactly. that crazy attack. So yeah, <clears throat> this shows yeah that Anaguma is like a cat. You have nine lives. <laughs> <laughs> you have nine lives. You can uh, afford many mistakes. Yeah. Um, if Sente would play perfectly, of course, he would win this game, but Anaguma has many chances. Yeah. Yeah, but very good game. Uh, Hato Yuki, uh, thank you for sending your Kifu. I think you did very well. Yeah. Uh, just one mistake, it's fine. Yeah. Uh, you had this amazing attack against Anagum. This bishop sacrifice on free one. It was yeah. perfect. 
Uh, your opponent also played very well. I'm impressed by how he fought until the end and actually yeah. turned the tables. So really enjoyable to watch and I think you both learned a lot from this game. So that's the most important, right? Yeah. yeah. Okay. All right. Um, so I guess that's it for today. Uh, if you want us to review your game, yeah. please uh, send us the game using the form below. <laughs> yeah, link in the description. <laughs> yeah. And of course, leave a like, leave a comment if you like the video. We really read them all and it yeah. helps us to improve our videos yeah. as well as makes us chuckle as we look on the computer. Yeah, and <laughs> be sure to subscribe and I guess see you next time. See you next time. <laughs> bye bye. bye. <laughs>